Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's mukbang, we're actually gonna be in my house. I got Mexican food, I'm so excited. I literally was going to just eat here and then I was like, I wanna eat in the car, but then the sun went down, so whatever. I wanna show you guys what I got. Vegetable enchiladas, I'm pretty sure. And they also give you rice and beans. And I also got queso. So let's just get into it really quick. Usually it has like zucchini, squash, carrots, maybe like eggplant or something like that. Why did it look like it had meat in it? I don't think it does. I wanna do a little bit of some sour cream and some pico with it. Oh my God. <coughs> oh my goodness. You guys, hold that thought. I actually forgot my drink. Sorry, you guys. I had to get a drink. I got my Sprite. It's in a can. Zach, Zach drank all the sodas and like, I literally didn't have any soda. E spicy. All right, you guys. Let's get into the Q&A. So the first question is gonna be from Miss Pretty Lady. And she asked me, who is my celebrity crush? I'm like, honestly, I'm usually not the type to crush. <laughs> but back in the day, mm, if my best friend is watching this, she's gonna laugh. But back in the day, like Taylor Lautner was like our celebrity crush for sure. Like not even Twilight, but like Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Like we legit loved him. But now that like I'm an adult, um, I'll pick one. Actually, the other day we were watching the Amber Heard versus Johnny Depp trials or whatever. And honestly, I'll give it to Johnny Depp. Um, I think he's my favorite. We gotta love him and Pirates. I mean, that movie is literally the best. And yeah, and I also love like a like a Robert De Niro type, like, I don't know. Uh, like the old mobster movie type of a vibe. Or like a Richard Gere. I really like that vibe, like in Pretty Woman. Mm. He's like a zaddy, you know? <laughs> I'm like, did I really just say that? But yeah, you guys, that's honestly, I think, Mm. I'm sorry. Shout out to Miss Pretty Lady. Like, honestly, she also recommended that I eat this. And it's so good. I haven't had Mexican food in so long, which is kind of weird because I just came back from California. But I really don't feel like they had that many good, like, Mexican places to go to. I'll still never understand how mukbangers make it look so pretty. Like, I feel like my food always looks like a pile of poop. <laughs> like, it tastes really good, but like, I don't, I don't get it, whatever. Okay, let's get into the next question. The next question is from user, a bunch of letters, I don't know. Um, they're asking me if I have a saying that I live by or a motto that I live by. Um, and I do, I love this question. Um, my motto, would definitely be my tattoo on my ribs. I'm like, I, I wanna show you guys, but you can probably just watch it in the tattoo video that I have. And it literally just says, what is meant to be will not pass you by. And like, honestly, that is like the realest ever. <laughs> it really is, it's straight to the point. And I really feel like everybody has their own, mm, their own like, path and destiny and life and we're all unique beings and not everybody's path is going to be the same and I also think it's like destiny and your fate and you do have to make decisions in your life but what is for you usually won't pass you I mean if you don't take that opportunity that's on you like whatever the case may be 
whatever it is, you know, what is for you. And if you don't take it, like that's a different route that you'll go. But um, yeah, I love that one. What is meant for you will always be for you. Um, and then I also love, uh, oh my goodness. Uh, I feel like the spray cans literally make me so burpy. I also love YOLO. Um, you only live once. And it's back to kind of what I just said. And it's like, we're all unique beings. I truly believe that. And we're all here for a different reason. And it's not all the same. YOLO simply means living life with no regrets. And I also feel like it literally means you. Like this vessel or your spiritual self, you. You can come back. Some people believe in reincarnation, but you're not going to be this same figure. Unless you think that, I don't know. Next question is going to be from Messed Up Bean. Um, they asked me, what is your favorite color? And I love this question. <laughs> it's so simple and to the point, but it's actually not. <laughs> mm. When I was like a little girl, it was either like black or pink. Like if I was in a mood, it was black. But if like it was just normal, it was pink. But now that I'm like an adult, I do like a lot of different colors. I'm not gonna lie. Like I love black and I love white and I love gold and I love blue and I love pink. Did I say that already? And I love orange and I love, like I literally like all the colors, but my favorite is gonna be like my birthstone and it's like turquoise, blue sapphire, turquoise, like that type of a vibe. I'm just gonna stick with like with like turquoise. I just feel like it also resonates with like my energy too. I feel as though I do have blue energy. I have a bunch of like blue rings. Um, and I also have a necklace and two bangles from David Yerman too. And they're all blue turquoise and they're all blue topaz. I'm gonna stick with that, like that vibe. Uh. Oh my goodness. Mm. You guys, I'm in heaven right now. Mm. The next question is gonna be from yours truly, GBV. Shout out to you, GBV. If you guys haven't already, go like, comment, and subscribe on GBV's channel. Um, we love GBV, let's support him. Um, he wants to know if I've ever had like the most specialist, most favorite day. And if so, what did I do on that day? And GBV, this is like a wicked hard question. I don't know. Cause I was thinking about it like really deeply and I haven't come to any conclusion considering it's only like one day and it's 24 hours and like, but I have like a couple that I think like really make you feel like good. Like when my nieces were born or like, I know it wasn't just one day, but like being in California, um, knowing that I was living there and I wasn't coming back, you know, that felt like wicked surreal and like super cool or like, or maybe getting on that plane to go to Tokyo. I definitely think days like that that I'll truly never forget. And to this day, I don't know what the answer to that question would be, but I love it and I love you. <laughs> Honestly though, you guys, I'm so full now, like it's catching up to me. <laughs> if you guys haven't already, please give me a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye guys.